cool. Um, so today we're going to talk about how to build a parallel plaquette system. Um, it's really nice and easy to set up. Um, and it can be built pretty much off of all the contents on your harness, so it makes it really light and efficient for alpine rescue and lightweight rescue. So, two plaquette style devices, in this case we're using ATC guides. Um, for the top one, it is very important that it is clipped in in guide mode. So I'm clipped through that steel loop. We're going to start by clipping that guy into guide mode. We can give that guy a lock. This carrier gun is going to stay on there until we're ready to use it. Next, I'm going to take a single length runner in this case. You can use double length, you can use some cordelette, you got options. Um, but the goal here is you want to be able to extend your second plaquette style device um, so that it's not getting in the way of the top one. So again, single length runner in this case that's doubled up should give us plenty of room for our second plaquette. Cool. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lower plaquette. Again, this one is not in guide mode, so we're not clipping through that steel loop. We're just going to clip it in just like normal, like Ruby Lane, and we'll leave that there for right now. Next thing, I'm going to take my load strand that I already have connected to my load down there. I'm just going to load it into my device. Make sure that the carabiner is nice and locked. At this point, what I like to do is I can kind of tension my system here a little bit, lock everything up so we don't have too much slack in our system. It sets us up for success. Next, I'm going to come up here, and again, it's important we do load it in guide mode appropriately. So in this case, you can see our load strand is sitting on top of our brake strand, so that it'll actually... Um, block the device like it should. Clip that carrier in there, tension it up, and we are good to go. Everything is locked, everything is oriented correctly, we're looking clean. The next thing we need to do, this is the parallel plaquette uh, system here, but the last thing we need to do is we need to um, put something on here so that we can actually lower um, while our ATC is in guide mode. So in this case, um, I like to use a double length runner with a non-locker. You could use a locker here if you wanted to. It's definitely not necessary though. Clip that up to our shelf up here. Take my double length. I'm gonna take a bite of my double length here. I'm gonna feed it through this little eye right here down below my ATC guide. Feed it through there and I'm gonna pass it through so that I girth hitch my ATC. Next, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna redirect it through that non-locker that I have set up. And when I'm ready to lower, all I need to do is I need to maintain a brake hand on this brake strand at all times. Um, and then I can start pulling up to defeat the guide mode of this ATC, um, and that's going to allow a rope to start feeding through and start lowering our load. And that is the parallel plaquette system.